you might often come across a conversation like god you're so weak or a believer never get sad or you are too much sensitive or even sadness is an indication of weak iman and some other trigger words that hurt you deeply statements like these only escalate the process of drowning for those who suffer from depression anxiety or hopelessness remember you are not weak even the strongest men like yaqub alayhi salam wept until he lost his vision and even our beloved prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam experienced bouts of sadness upon the loss of his wife and uncle even though you offer all obligatory prayers read quran every day try to draw closer to allah but those certain bad feelings don't go away research shows that hippocampus a part of brain is smaller in depressed people as compared to those who are not depressed so it is very important to know the difference between sadness and depression sadness is a temporary behavior but depression is more than a passing mood depressed person feels lonely helpless anxious loss of interest in things and irregular sleep habit we always want that someone comes in our life and magically change our grief with happiness but we forget that allah is always here for us and for those who fear allah he ever prepares a way out and he provides for him from sources he never could imagine and if anyone puts his trust in allah sufficient is allah for him for allah will surely accomplish his purpose verily for all things has allah appointed a due proportion so you are certain now that there is no impossible situation which has no solution first acceptance is very important don't lie with your inner self don't think that why this happened with me what did i do to deserve this even the prophets were not spared from tests so you are not alone there is nothing wrong with accepting and acknowledging your grief the strength of a person is not that he remains strong by dwelling in denial or drowning in numbness it is that he never loses hope despite all the pain and grief that's what true faith is no soul is burdened with more than it can bear if your trial brings you closer to allah you become more grateful than it was a test but if your trial takes you away from allah you become more ungrateful and more complaining that why always me why am i so unlucky then it is a punishment of your ungratefulness or sins so try to ask for allah's forgiveness as much as you can start thinking positively try not to think negatively do not nurture negative thoughts or overthinking as this is the major cause of self destruction do talk with someone about how you feel if you don't want to go anywhere just say no you dislike anything just say no self care is first don't worry about what will people think concentrate on what will allah think as he is the most merciful most helpful kill your ego if you hurt someone go and apologize for it if someone hurt you then go and hug them try to spread love not hate if someone makes fun of your color or the way you dress or the way you exist just think that allah loves the way you are and on the judgment day no one will get second chance and allah loves those who have patience try not to expect from people but just allah the more you expect from people more you will be disappointed but if you still do then just say it like if you want attention then say it try not to make things difficult make them easy for yourself but if you expect from allah he will never disappoint you because he knows what's in our hearts now how to think positively during the hard times we tend to forget the blessings that we have around us and instead focus more on the things that are going wrong means being ungrateful it's human nature whenever you feel being sucked into dark phase of hopelessness and depression remind yourself of the things you have whether it's your family supportive friends food in your belly roof over your head and countless other things 
We always write things whenever we feel down in a form of poem or story. So why not when we feel happy or about those things we are grateful for on a daily basis? Trust me, start doing this. It will actually help by looking at bright side of life. If you had all relied on Allah as you should rely on Him, then He would have provided for you as He provides for the bird, who wake up hungry in the morning and return with full stomachs at dusk. Now think, do you truly have full trust in Allah or you get stressed easily because our fate is not in our hands? So what to worry about? Those who think that they can change their fate are totally wrong. Only Allah can change it. But if you want to, you can pray for it. He does listen and fulfills all our wishes. Why are we so ready to trust and depend on someone on whoever we want to, but so quick to question Allah. Put your trust in Allah. He loves those who trust Him. And give good news to those who preserve, those who say, when a misfortune strikes them, surely to Allah we belong, and surely to Him we return. These are the ones on whom blessings from Allah descends and mercy, and these are the ones who are rightly guided. Allah says, try to forget things, don't hold on to them, as it will only cause more damage and make things more worse. Hazrat Muhammad said, My son, if you are able every morning and evening to remove any rancor from your heart towards anyone, then do so. We run after this temporary world, worry about useless things, but don't think about for a second that what will happen to us on Judgment Day. Hazrat Muhammad said, Wretched is the servant of gold, silver, fine clothes and garments. If he is given, he is pleased. But if he is not given, he is displeased. Happiness is not about getting what you want all the time. It's about loving what you have and being grateful for it.